Oh, we just caught that, and I think the last survivor's in the corner. Have we just done that without no head? There's no way. Boys, today I'm going to be recording another video acting like a baby nurse until the last gem pops, but today we're not going to be using no head. But the mentality here is that we're going to try and keep a few people injured for endgame so that I do have some people one tap so we can get infectious rolling and start the snowball. Without any further delay, let's get straight into the game. Okay, so I did offering myself to Midwitch to try and give myself the best possible chance against these guys. Because we're not going to have long, I'm going to need to land near every single blink. And the map I am most comfortable on with Nurse is definitely Midwitch. It's a very, very strong Nurse map. But now we've just pretty much got to find as many survivors as possible. And the game plan is to make us look as bad as possible so they are not scared of me at all. And that's when we strike after the fifth gem pops because we actually start trying and hopefully landing some blinks and we get that shock factor on the survivors. Okay, I had to actually improvise there because I should have got a hit. And what I'm going to do in this chase now is I'm just going to massively over blink. Just because I want them to think that I have near on no idea what I'm doing on Nurse. And now I'm going to blink down. Just try to do as many things as a nurse who isn't as experienced would do. Like blinking down, bloodlusting, not blinking, over blinking, that kind of thing. Getting slammed by the pallet. Now I'm just going to break it straight away. I blink down here. I just want them to think that I am no threat to them whatsoever, basically. Okay, so I feel like we've convinced a few people now. I'm probably just missing the Dwight and the Bill. So I need to find them and make them think that I'm awful too. I don't think I've seen this Neo all game as well, actually. Okay, I had to take that hit. If I don't take that hit, it looks like I'm trying to be bad. I do have to take the extremely free hits. Okay, now I'm just going to massively overblink. On her. Oh my god. She actually just held W. I didn't expect that. That threw me off a lot. I should start looking to get some force penance value soon if I can. Just to force them into one tap for the end game. Okay. This guy's gonna go heal himself. But I am taking some hits just to make the end game a little bit easier for me. This person's spam vaulting. So I assume whoever this person is, I've tricked them into thinking I'm awful. And then he just vaults into me after spam vaulting that. If I was playing serious, that would have been a free hit. And I'm just going to instantly break this pallet. But I think it's fair to say that I've definitely tricked this Dwight into thinking that I'm bad. I'm going to whiff that on purpose. Just so he thinks I'm super awful. And then I'm going to injure him in a second here when I get the chance. So that when that last gen does pop... Oh, he has life too. I don't really want to land any blinks because I don't want it to be too obvious. I think they were on this gen. Okay, the Dwight is teabagging me. Perfect. It's exactly what we want when we're doing this build. Can I get the Dwight to take protection hit maybe? Okay, I got a free hit there. So they still probably don't think I'm good. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're all here as well. This is really good for me. Oh, they really think I'm bad. Okay, I'm going to drop chase with her. I'm going to go over to this gate. We got the bill. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. There should be a survivor here. Yeah. And then the other one should be on the other gate. So I might have to use blood water, maybe. Oh, we just caught that, and I think the last survivor's in the corner. Have we just done that without no head? There is no way. There is actually no way. As long as if they don't have an unbreakable, which the bill may have, we should get this. She double backed into me, and then I got an easy down. I think we've just done that with no force penance value whatsoever, so three perks. Or more even two perks, because I got no blood water value either. And no, no head. 
Okay, the last survivor got to patch, but I'm not really too worried. And I think they were all console, unless they were Windows Store, maybe. We went from the Dwight teabagging us to four slugged. I hope that Dwight regrets his teabags now. I actually stopped bringing map offerings for this because I feel like it gives it a little bit away what I'm doing. So we actually just randomly rolled the game. Also, if you see in my bottom right, I switched out... Oh, cord, okay. I'm just gonna panic blink there, but that was really weird. Like, I didn't expect her to do that at all. I'm just gonna blink down like the absolute wonderful, wonderful nurse that I am. And now I think it's about time to massively overblink. Nowhere near her. But I did switch out forced penance to barbecue in some of the outtakes of attempting this challenge, some of my failed runs. I noticed that I kind of lost if they ever just spread out to counter my infectious. And I feel like barbecue would help that a lot. Because if that ever does happen, I can just quickly spam somebody onto a hook. And then we are back. I know exactly where they are. And I do not have to worry about it as much. Oh my god, she's actually trapped in this room. I have to hit her there. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that breakable wall spawn. But that's definitely what I should be doing as a baby nurse. Is breaking a lot of these breakable walls. For sure. Let her slam me with the pallet, and then I'll just break it straight away. Because, you know, Nurse definitely cannot deal with those pallets at all. All of the breakable walls, all of the pallets, everything needs to be broken. And that's the first gen off the board. Two people are on it, we can see from Bit of Mama. And now we need to find our next survivor, just to show that we are a bit of a baby nurse. I'm just going to make her think that she's so sick. I'm just going to swing... And hopefully she tries to do a few jukes. Slam me with this pallet, maybe. Okay, I had to actually play into her there, because she ran into me, like, three or four times. And I could have got the hit so easily, so I had to kind of look behind me and be like, Huh? Where did she go? Where did she go? Uh, she was crouched in the corner there, too. She definitely thinks that I have no idea what I'm doing at all. I just don't want to show them I have Infectious, though. We should be on for a pretty good endgame here. Perfect. This guy just dropped down. Where he went, I don't really know. Perfect. Okay, now we're banking on unbreakables and we're banking that they're not rushing the two slugs. Perfect, and that's that's who they're picking up right there. One of them should go for the other slug, I imagine. So let's see what they do, because they will have to drop down. Maybe they're going for this big drop down, we get a free hit, or down. They're going for this big drop down, free hit. And I think they're going to go to... No dead hard, perfect. And they should be going for the door, they didn't go for the door, even better. Now we blink up, that should be it. That should be all she wrote, wow. We should get this here. Is she going to vault down? Yep, this is a free hit. And that is game. Oh, we got it off again. Perfect. What a good map for it as well. What a great map. We really got to snowball so easily off of those two injured people right next to each other as the last gem popped. Okay, I was excited for this endgame chat. Basically, all we really had is a bunch of good sports, and then we had one person that was upset that we were slugging, and they were upset that we acted bad during the game. But as soon as I said, am I not allowed to have fun? They just left. They left from the lobby straight away. But GG was a really good game. We actually managed to get this challenge on again. And considering how hard this is, you do not have a lot of time to get all four survivors down. This has been by far one of the most difficult challenges I've ever attempted on this channel. Very, very happy to get another game down.